Comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko comes from the Kuiper Belt, which is filled with millions of similar frozen remnants of our solar system. Collisions, or gravitationally induced orbit changes, can eject some of these dusty, icy space rocks into becoming comets, orbiting the Sun. Comets have long been part of our culture. The first known realistic image of a comet, for instance, was the Star of Bethlehem in Giotto's Adoration of the Magi, painted shortly after the appearance of Halley's Comet in 1301. But comets may have played a more significant role in our history. Apart from containing water, glycine, one of just 22 amino acids in the human body, has also been found in a comet and scientists believe comets may have brought water and organic compounds to Earth. What it's all about is the carbon chemistry. How much did the comets bring to Earth? So was it just the right elements, the right, um, yeah, the right building blocks, or was there more information in it when these comets already arrived? Studying comets will shed light on the emergence of water and life on Earth, as well as informing us about the formation of our solar system. We know from previous space missions that each comet has a frozen nucleus, often only a few kilometres across, and that when a comet's orbit approaches the Sun, it develops an atmosphere or coma. The solar wind pushes this atmosphere into trailing tails of dust, ions and plasma that can stretch for thousands of kilometres. Water can be found in its tail, the icy nucleus and as a vapour in the coma. Comet 67P may be a binary comet, possibly produced when two comets collided and melded together during the formation of the solar system. Taller than Japan's Mount Fuji, it rotates every 12 hours and 24 minutes. Comet 67P's distinctive two parts and complex shape presented unique challenges for the mission. But it is also providing a greater scientific understanding of who we are and where we come from.